What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and in today's video I'm really excited because we're gonna be taking Flame Wingman OTK Yes, a hero build that you guys may have not seen before and putting it to the test online against some meta decks Against whatever we really see online because I think this deck is super super fun And it's a really cool rogue deck that you can take into today's format Now if you guys enjoy these videos make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content Just like this one. We upload five days a week here on the channel deck profiles combo videos dual replays all that good stuff it's right here on the channel so make sure you guys subscribe to stay tuned into all of that today we're feeling like Jaden himself we're going for game with elemental hero flame wingman i'm super excited let's get right into the video all right so it doesn't really matter whether we go first or we go second so here we lost doesn't matter if we're forced to go second it doesn't matter we want to go second anyways and our hand here is nuts let me just tell you our hand here is crazy we have two bestial monsters so if we're going up against okay so we're going up against some kind of danger build it's uh oh it's dark world okay this is interesting but we have the two bestials if the hero lives we're in a really really good spot here uh that's fine i'm gonna save the bestials until he has something like silva until he has something like a graph in the graveyard and then from there you can use the bestials and you're pretty much just auto winning this matchup i think the best thing to do here is actually just activate our magna moots to banish the grapha right now so that we can special summon our magna but for now i think we just watch i think he's gonna try to go so usually here see this is why i wanted to hold the druid swarm right so he's gonna do that i don't want him to be able to special summon the this card and he's bouncing what the magnum loot that's fine you know what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna use the juice worm to banish the second grapha as long as he can't keep looping i think we're fine anybody is he bouncing the magna or ascending i guess i know he can go so usually here with these four draw four put back three try to fix his hand i don't know what his hand exactly looks like right now but he hasn't really okay i think he's so, so he's going straight for apple here okay apple is actually really good into hero i think we can out the apple i still think we can out the apple before we have to lose to it which is really nice all right so he goes genta again search another one just get more cards into his hand that's perfectly fine he gets this again he gets to draw one more so let's see if he's gonna activate here and he's gonna add the mothman that's fine if he wants to use mothman effect that's also fine doesn't really matter all right so let's see if we hit it or not we don't hit it we hit the snow that's really good for him and this is going to summon itself he's going to draw one snow is going to get to search this deck has so much gas it's actually so crazy also it was a really good decision to hit the second grapha before apo hit the field because he could have stopped everything with apple which is kind of crazy so i actually think that was a really good decision the way we did that so i'm happy what did he add to his hand here i didn't even see what he added to his hand uh rainbow okay he added rainbow he's gonna get to trade in the rainbow okay that's crazy that's nuts okay uh let's see if he has a dark world does he have a dark world in hand to discard with this oh no he's a nessie so so Nessie's gonna get discarded. Oh, nothing. All right, we have. Let's search a Druid Swarm here. Actually, I think that's just the best thing, best thing to do on the end phase. And then we get to draw. Oh, we have Ian Shuffle. That's insane. Okay, I think actually this is still not horrible. We have two monsters on our side of the field. So the issue here is we need to get over this Apo. How are we gonna go about doing that? Funny enough, we're kind of conflicted here with Hero Lives. I think we're actually going to use our normal summon on Fairies. I know it's gonna sound crazy, but just hear me out here. I think I think this is what we have to do. So we're gonna use our normal summon here. It activates effect. If he apple negates this which i want him to apple negate to be honest because then we can just run over this and then we can make our full combo we don't have to otk him here we can we don't have to though uh we can hold the mass change for now we don't need to use the mass change right now let's put increase on our side of the field let's use the increase effect here the thing is the bisted monsters they do conflict a little bit with the hero lives but they're just too important like you guys saw like he wasn't able to do half of his combos just because he didn't have access to uh, his graphas right which is crazy so that's why i think jewish is really important or the Bisted monsters in general. Here we're gonna get the special summon Vion, which is really nice. And then Vion is gonna get to dump any card. We're not gonna need to special summon Shadow Mist here just because we already have access to Ian Shuffle. Yeah, let's just send our Shadow Mist here. I think the best play is to actually just send Shadow Mist and activate its effect to search. I think that's a better play. I really want him to negate something. I need him to negate something. Because as soon as he okay, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. I wanted that. That's that's amazing. Okay. So him negating the Shadow Mist is perfect because now he's at 24. All right. This is actually really good for us. Okay. Let's not go for the OTK. Let's just attack over Apple here and then we can attack over Mothman. Uh, we can get the extra Druid Swarm on the board to do some extra damage, but it's not worth it. I'd rather have the Hand Trap because it's not guaranteed that we're going to be like, we're not going to kill him this turn, right? So I'd rather have some form of disruption. Uh, we don't even need to use the Mass Change just yet. So I think what the best thing is, we're just going to go straight into our main phase two here. And then we start to combo a little bit better here. So let's go Vion Effect. We'll banish the Ferris. We get to search Polly, which is going to be really, really nice here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go... Do we have a... We don't have a Destiny in Hero in here. So Cross Crusader doesn't really do much. 
So what we'll do first here is we'll actually go into Infernal Divisor using these two. And then this is going to get to activate so that we can reveal our Flame Wingman, which is going to get to add Percentage and Avion to our hand to make a Sunrise. So you guys are going to see here we're going to be able to make Sunrise. Sunrise is going to get to trigger to search Miracle Fusion, which is going to be really, really nice here. Again, had he not had that Apple, we could have gone for game. But, you know, the Apple is, is, is really powerful. I won't lie. I think right now we're just going to hold the Miracle Fusion. We're going to hold the Ian. We could Ian shuffle this away and get Stratos. I think actually funny enough, we're just going to set the mass change here. There's no reason to continue going. We could go Ian shuffle and whatnot, but I think we can actually just set this because we can make Infernal Divisor into a Dark Law on our opponent's turn. He's playing on one card here, right? So, and then Gates, I guess, is going to get to draw him another card, depending on what his draws are. And we also have a Bisted, right? So I think he's in a pretty sticky situation, if you ask me. I think the draw one here is fine. I'm not going to activate the mass change just yet. What I think is the best play is wait for him to use a danger effect. So any other... Oh, he has rainbow. Hmm. Maybe I should have mass changed earlier because he may... He doesn't... I mean, he doesn't have access to rainbow special summon itself because uh he doesn't have any dark world monsters all right there we go all right so basically what would have happened is if he had passed it off to us we could have made dark law at any point in the combo and then we make flame wingman or otk i really wanted to go for flame wingman otk all right we're gonna get one more gaming because i really want to go flame wingman for game all right so just like the last game doesn't matter if we win or lose we want to go second okay let's go second here okay we're blinding second with this doesn't really matter okay we kind of bricked i won't lie on the burst in a tricks but we have uh, fusion destiny we have hero lives we have rota we actually have a really powerful hand and we also have heart Feather the duster, which is kind of nice. So outside of the burst in tricks, the rest of the hand is actually pretty insane. And uh, oh no, what are we playing against here? What are we playing? Uh, Shadal, Shadal is not too bad. And we force him to go first. So he doesn't have access to Shadal fusion, which is really nice. I think well, we actually made a pretty good decision here to go second. I think he's, is he just going to pass on the one set? Okay, that's fine. One, two set is not bad. One monster, one back row. Oh no, it's not Shadal. Is this Guru? Or no, I guess it's still Shadal. I guess you can tech some cards and your opponent cannot target face down monster you control card effects. Funny enough, I think we just go this. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that right off the bat. Super poly. Okay, no, we made the right decision. We made the right decision with that one. We go Rota into Stratos. Or do we go into... Hmm. We have Hero Lives for... Ah, uh, but we could go Hero Lives for Shadow Mist, which is really nice. So yeah, let's add Stratos, I think, is better. Try to go for our Shadow Mist here. Shadow Mist guarantees us a Dark Law, which is really nice. But the thing is, we do want to go for game. But at the same time, a Mass Change does help us go for game. Because, you know, in the battle phase, we can do some Mass Change shenanigans. That's really nice. So let's go now into our Stratos here. And then Stratos is going to get to activate to add a Hero Monster. And there's some pretty good options, but I think the best option, funny enough, is to just add fair because we can pitch the Bersinitrix, right? So let's just add Ferris here. And then let's go activate our Ferris, pitching the Bersinitrix. If there's any way, is there any way to get our Flame Wingman on the board here? Is there any way to get Avion in the graveyard? The thing is, like, drawing the Bersinitrix is really bad because it makes it so that we can't just add both, which is crazy because I'm pretty sure Infernal Gainer has to add both. Let's uh, let's get rid of the Ferris here so that we can summon the Increase. Increase is going to summon Vion. And then Vion effect, we're going to get to... So the thing is... Oh, I guess we don't have to dump Mali because uh, we have Fusion Destiny. Never mind. Never mind. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We get to go Flaming Man here. We get to go Flaming Man here. Let's go, baby. Let's go. We get to go Flaming Man. All right. So what we're going to do first here is, um, I guess, because we're not dumping the Mali, we can't just go into Cross Crusader. But I think that's still fine. So the thing is, Fusion Destiny locks us into Dark Heroes. So we're not going to be able to go into Flaming Man if we use Fusion Destiny. So what I'm going to actually do first is we're going to skip the Cross guy and we're going to go straight into Wonder Driver here. And we're going to go into Wonder Driver with our Stratos. I actually haven't used the Vion effect yet. So we'll go Shadow Mist and uh, I guess Increase. Doesn't really really matter i don't think this has to be summoned to a zone it does need to be summoned to a zone oh my god i'm trolling but that's fine because we can still go vion here for poly and uh poly's still pretty strong here so that, that's not a problem because we can use these two for a poly target so let's actually just polymerization right now we can make our powerful sunrise i know we already have the miracle fusion but we're just using it to get the wonder driver effect to add the poly back to our hand which is really nice here or set the poly i should say and then we can actually just go ahead and miracle fusion to make our flame wingman all right let's do that let's make our flaming man right here 
Okay, and then we can actually activate our Fusion Destiny. We can continue playing after this, by the way, but let's go Fusion Destiny for DPE. We're gonna use Mali as well as Denier, summon this. Okay, so this gets to pop a card on uh, on Attack Declaration. So is this enough for game? Is the I can keep going, to be honest with you. Let's just go into battle phase here, all right? So let's actually just attack with Wonder Driver, and then we get to use Sunrise Effect to pop this. So this is gonna get to attack directly now. Uh, that's fine, so she gets to summon something. That's okay still, it's not a huge problem. It wasn't, uh, I forget the defense hmm is that still enough for game if i pop with dpe uh no i can just continue with my attack right yeah continue the attack he gets to target a card on the f oh he gets to target a card in the field and destroy it though maybe we just go dpe actually i'm just i'm tro i'm tripping i don't know what we're doing here because we could just pop poly pop this right so that doesn't matter i don't really care about that effect i really don't want to use a mass change because we can mass change our dpe away into dark law and he doesn't get any of these he's really trying to live man okay fine you know what that's fine i still have the wonder driver attack all right all right all right you're making this just really annoying to be honest with you he's gonna get special summon another shadow monster oh no he can only use one effect per turn never mind we're good we're gonna attack with our sunrise we're gonna attack with our dpe all right let's attack with dpe Oh baby, oh baby, let's get it. And now, Elemental Hero, Flame Wingman, attack for game. Oh yes, that's exciting. Getting to Flame Wingman for game just feels so good. Oh baby. And we could have kept going, we had still had Malicious in the graveyard. If I had gone mass change, then we could have maybe avoided some of this, but I really wanted to keep DP on the field. I don't know. We attacked the Flame Wingman for game, baby. That's exciting. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys saw, we actually got to go Flame Wingman for game. I think this deck is super, super fun. Going second, it has a lot of OTK potential. You guys saw in that second duel that we even had more follow-up if we needed to, but we didn't even need it. And the deck can actually grind and break a lot of boards. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content just like this one. We upload five days a week here on the channel. Deck profiles, combo videos, duel replays. We got product openings, vlogs, all that good stuff. You'll find it right here on the channel so make sure you guys stay tuned and subscribe for all of that good stuff so thank you guys all for watching and with that spanko sign it out peace